Oh man, how crazy was uh, the GameStop stock news yesterday? Note to self, ask Gilbert how to do stonks. And yes, I did pull out the shirt specifically for that joke. I promise this isn't gonna turn into a stock vlog. I know hardly anything about stocks other than you buy them, hold on to them or sell them and hope you make money. It's gambling. What I do wanna talk about today is my new favorite trend on music YouTube. I love a great acoustic cover of a popular song, but what I've come to love lately is a cover of a song in the style of another musician. This is also kind of reminiscent of the time Butch Walker took a Taylor Swift pop song and kind of added a little more Americana back into it. I really enjoy that cover too. A few months ago, I found this YouTuber, Alex Melton, and he takes songs and covers them as if they were different artists or different genres. Uh, some of my favorites are his uh, Post Malone, as if they were pop punk. He also does pop and rock go country. He does country versions of like Blink-182 songs. And this one is my current favorite. It's What If Blink-182 Wrote One Week by The Bare Naked Ladies. It's excellent. Uh, really, really funny. Um, cover. I really, really liked it. Um, a plus work. He does, you know, the lyrics and the melody mostly stay the same. He kind of changes the melody a little bit to kind of follow some of the like vocal stylings of both Mark and Tom from Blink-182. But then he also works in a lot of like musical riffs on the guitar line and on the bass line from other Blink-182 songs. It's really, really cool to hear, oh, there's a little bit of feel in this or there's a little bit of miss you in that guitar part or a little bit of like uh, Carousel or or Josie in that bass line. It's, it's very cool and it's very like early Blink-182 if they had teamed up to write a song with the Bare Naked Ladies. Very, very cool. So shout out to Alex Melton. I'll put a link in the doobly-doo. Another YouTuber, New.Wave, also known as Cam and Hurley, did a couple of these covers as one band as another. One of my favorite early videos from him is what if old Fall Out Boy did a new Fall Out Boy song? Cause like after Fall Out Boy, kind of starting with the album Infinity on High and definitely from Folly Ado and on, they really adopted a lot of uh, production into their rock songs. You know, it's like it's like hip hop rock. It's pop punk, but really emphasizing the pop. And he kind of took it back to what if it was a little more punky? And again, kind of the same thing. He kind of integrates some of the melodic riffs from other Fall Out Boy stuff to put into this song. He also changed the song from a minor key to a major key, which I think does emulate the original Fall Out Boy sound a little bit better, which is really cool. But, but just yesterday, New Dot Wave came out with a cover of Call Your Girlfriend by Robin in the style of Motion City soundtrack. And if you know me, you know I love Motion City soundtrack. This is also the first video that New Dot Wave did where they actually show their face, which is kind of cool. It's like a fake live video. They obviously pre-recorded this and, and are filming it music video style, synced up, but it's, it's pretty cool. What I like about this song, not just because it's Motion City soundtrack stylings, but they really took the, the interpretation to the next level. They took uh, the lyrics and gender bent them, but then also changed the point of view of the character towards the end of the song. So like structurally and story-wise to the song, they did something that the original song didn't even do. And while this cover doesn't exactly pull from Motion City Soundtrack's kind of original riffs, they do some really cool song structure stuff that does lend itself to Motion City Soundtrack's style. They have breaks uh, where the synthesizer stands alone. They have a key change just for the bridge section and then coming back to the original key for the last chorus. And then during choruses, the keyboard is doing a counter melody to the sung melody. And then there's another guitar part doing a counter melody to that keyboard part, which is really cool and very, very Motion City Soundtrack-esque. And when mimicking the keyboard player from Motion City Soundtrack, they do a lot of the kind of pushing the, the keyboard stand over and then even does the signature Jesse Moog stand. Does not disappoint, very cool. So covering a song in the styling of a whole nother band, A plus, especially when done right, I really enjoy it. Keep up the good work. I'll see you tomorrow, peace.